While picking the right Android TV box can be something of a dilemma, deciding on what software to get it out with is often the next big challenge. That's because the Google Play Store is just teeming with content, with apps, to help you to get the most out of your streaming device. In this video, we're gonna talk about an app that can open up a ton of content and possibilities, a VPN. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the concept, a VPN is basically a service that allows you to route your traffic via a server located elsewhere, giving you a new IP address in the process. And when you choose a VPN server that's located in a different country, this will give you a foreign IP address. And that can make all the difference when it comes to streaming services that are restricted by region, such as Netflix or such as the BBC. Suddenly, you can watch movies and shows that you wouldn't otherwise be able to. And of course, VPNs bring a ton of other benefits too, in particular, security benefits. So I'm gonna show you how to get that set up and get started. And for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm gonna be using our top rated VPN, ExpressVPN. And the setup for this one couldn't be simpler. Installing ExpressVPN on your Android TV box is just like installing any other type of app. All you have to do is head over to the Google Play Store, search for ExpressVPN. When you see that option come up in the list, choose it, click install, and then it'll install the app for you. Then double tap on the icon to launch it and make sure to accept the permissions it asks for so that it can work its magic. Once in the app, you can decide if you want to use the free trial or sign up for a full membership. The free trial is good for one week and it'll only work on your Android TV box. If you go for the full membership, you can of course use it for as long as you like. And at the same time, you'll be able to use it across a whole host of different devices, whether that means a Fire TV box, whether it means your Android phone, whether it means your Windows PC, etc. So enter your email address and your password and this will activate the app. Then click OK in order to configure the app. You'll then be asked for a connection request, click OK again. This is a permission that any VPN app is gonna have to ask for. Finally, the app will ask if you want to share your anonymous data with the folks over at ExpressVPN. This is used to make the service better. It's up to you whether you want to opt in or not. I say jog on. And with that, you're now in the app and ready to go. You'll see a big button right in the center and you can click that to connect to a remote server right away. This will automatically connect you to a server that's located somewhere near you for optimum browsing speeds. However, if your reason for using a VPN is so that you can fake your location, then of course you're gonna to need to choose a server that's based in the location that you want to pretend you're from. So click choose location and then pick from the list to find the location that you want. Once you're back on the main screen, you can just click that big button in order to connect and it'll go green once it's done that successfully. As you can see, it's a really simple process. And the great thing is it's keeping your data safer whilst also allowing you to access content from around the world. And from there, you're good to go. You can exit that app, you can open up your favorite streaming service and you should be able to access content from the location that you chose. So I hope you found this video useful and interesting. If you did, then please leave a like, please share it around, that helps us out immensely. Feel free to comment down below and let us know what you think. And if you want to give ExpressVPN a go, then head over to expressvpn.com forward slash Android Authority. And that way, you'll be able to get access to a special deal. You'll also find the link in the description down below. Tell them we sent you because we are your source for all things Android.